Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback. I am your host, Youth One's Ryan Oliver, and today I am joined by a rising talent from the 2029 class, Zach Sweden. Zach, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Zach, I'm really excited to have you on. You're a talented quarterback from the 2029 class, and I know you're putting a lot of work in to make an impact on the field. I want you to tell me a little bit how, about how you're feeling about your game right now and the progress you've made over the past year or so. Well, I feel like I've gotten better at football because I've had more practices and more experience. And I'm more confident in my throwing and the vision of my field and encouraging my teammates. Yeah, that sounds really awesome. Uh, in preparation for this interview, I was watching your film and I was really impressed just with your comfort in throwing the ball on the move and as well as throwing the deep ball. Uh, what would you say has given you the confidence in your ability to go out there and perform and make, you know, make plays. I, a lot of the throws that you make aren't always easy, for, especially for a young quarterback. What gives you that confidence to go out there and, and make those passes? You just got to trust yourself. And, like, when you're making the throws, just, like, block out all the noise and just, like, throwing it, like, just catch and throw. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's that's great advice for other QBs that may watch this. You got to block out the noise and, you know, do what you do out there. Um, Zach, how long have you been playing the quarterback position and what do you enjoy most about playing? it? Well, I've been playing. I've been started. I started practicing when I was six years old. And then I probably I, and then I started playing when I was in second grade. And uh, I love being success, uh, be, being QB because all the challenges you face and have, and when you're successful, it's more fun to play. Yeah, and I think I think that's really cool. I think that you know, especially for young quarterbacks, you guys are just building the foundation, and it sounds like you're building a solid one. I want you to tell me a little bit about your skill set, Zach. What do you view your strengths at on the field? Well, my leadership skills and like encouraging my teammates if they did something bad or like if they didn't do really well, like encourage them to play through the next play. Yeah. Would you say that your leadership comes natural to you or is it something that you're making kind of a concerted effort to go out there and, and be a leader for your team? More natural. Yeah, yeah. What would you say your leadership style is? Is it more vocal or lead by example or a combination of both? Uh, both, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm awesome. really good at encouraging my teammates. That's awesome, Zach. I think that that's really cool. Uh, Zach, if I've never seen you play and I come to a game where Zach Sweden is playing quarterback, what can I expect to see from you? Uh, you'll see me and my team, like, driving down the field with confidence and, like, we will like give each other high fives and like when we score touchdowns, we'll just celebrate and yeah. Yeah, so so sounds to me like what they can expect to see is see you ball out and, and make some big plays out there. And I think that your, spil your film speaks to that, that you have, you know, that ability to make plays with your arm. And I was really impressed, like I mentioned before, with your ability to throw on the move. I think that, that, that the work that you're putting in in practice I'm sure, and in your training, to um, you know, to be able to do that is paying off. So you know, keep up the keep up the great work. Um, what attributes do you feel like you bring to your locker room? I know you mentioned leadership. Are there any other attributes you feel like you bring? Um, confidence, success, and resilience. Yeah, those are all important things for a quarterback to have. So I think that uh, I think that that makes total sense. Uh, Zach, is there an area of your game that you look at and you say, okay, if I can get better in this specific thing, I can take my game to another level? Is there an area of your game that you uh, like to find? My getting better at like using my lower body to throw and my speed of my footwork. Yeah, okay. I, I, I always, I like to ask that question because 
you know, athletes like to say, I'm working on everything, but I think it's really cool, especially with young athletes, when you can identify a specific area and say, well, if I get my lower body, yeah. you know, in a certain way, I, like I can really, cause I can already throw it, but if I can work, you know, get, get in concert with my, my lower body, I can really, you know, uh, take it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think that that's really cool. Uh, Zach, I want to ask you about your goals. Do you have any short-term goals for yourself that you're working to accomplish now and, and maybe um, some long-term goals for yourself? Probably to my short-term goals is like for football, like for football. Yeah, or, or in life, like, either way. Uh, football is probably to win the championship for our tackle season next year. And then a long-term one is I would love to be in the NFL. And my goal for that is win 10 Super Bowl rings. Yeah, I like that. I, I, that's ambitious. I like that, though. Ambitious, you know, be ambitious and, you know, shoot for the stars. Uh, do you have a favorite NFL player that you look up to? Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Yeah, okay, awesome. That, that's definitely not a bad choice. And he's obviously a great quarterback, so I think that, that makes total sense that you would – kind of identify with him uh, I want to ask you a little bit about some off the field stuff what do you like to do when you're not in school and you're not playing football what are some other things you like to do uh I like to hang out with my friends and we like run run around like a park and like play tag I think that that's awesome I think and playing tag is a is a loss a loss like activity I mean back when I was a kid I'm 30 now but back when I was a kid we used to play tag so I didn't know kids still did that, but I think that that's awesome. I think that that's really cool. Um, Zach, I asked this question to everyone that interviews with me for the first time. What is in your headphones before a big game to get you pumped up to go out there and throw touchdowns? Uh, probably Polo G and Travis Scott. Okay, a Polo G sighting. I'm really excited about that. I actually really like Polo G, so I think that that's really cool that he gets you pumped up before the games. And uh, Travis Scott, you know, can't go wrong with that. Whatever you're listening to, whatever you're doing, uh, Zach is really working for you. You got a, a really solid foundation, and I think the sky's the limit for you as you keep, you know, keep working hard and keep building your game. Um, is there anything else you'd like people to know about you that they may not know? Uh, the every day, I, I try to get better from the day before and I always try to have confidence in everything I do. Well, there you have it. This is 2029 20, quarterback, Zach Sweden. Zach, I think that that sounds great. Thank you for joining me on Monday morning quarterback, man. I appreciate it. Taking your time to interview me today.